hello there. Hello everyone, it is I read Public Studs and today I was sent a package uh, by the company WLWYB. Uh, now they make a lot of Lego related products, they did that periodic table a while back and they have a new one and it is the Lego Ambient Light. Um, now it is quite interesting, so basically what they do with these is they make different letters and they like make them into a brick. I I'm not 100% sure, uh, they certainly do some interesting stuff there and they're a very professional company. Um, so yeah, so I figure we'll jump right into it. I want to give an honest review on this specific product and you know, let's get right on into it. I'm just really curious to see what's inside here and what I think of it. We're going to need the trusty razor and then we are going to find the edge of the box and oh my gosh, it's not a regular box, but I will cut the box open anyway. Wait, th there's a pull and seal. By the way, let, let me just say this as we are uh, opening this. I don't know what shipping like class they got but like I like they sent this to me like at least like two days ago and then all of a sudden somehow th this got to me like very quickly um, now I was supposed to be sent the ambient light Lego light uh, and I also by the way I did get the letter L uh, now that's for a number of reasons the main reasons being because my name is Logan as you guys know and also L is like the first word of Lego so, so uh, yeah, so you get different letters. I'm gonna have to look up what the prices of these are, uh, so I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, but yeah, so we have all this here. Whoa, we got all these stickers too. That is sick. Okay, so let me actually look up the prices first and I'll get right back. So here is the L. Uh, obviously, I have taken the L. You know, I thought that would be pretty funny. Someone's gonna make a meme out of this now. Here is a me symbolically giving you all the L. Anyway, it's a really interesting product. Now, first off, it is made entirely out of Lego bricks, other than the lights and the paper uh, material that is, you know, covering it. Uh, and that is a really neat thing, and I think it's really unique. Someone was probably building, you know, let them, like, hey, make it into a light. Uh, now, this would certainly work great as, you know, a display piece, like if you have a Lego room or if you, uh, you know, have a gaming setup or if you are a teacher and you just want to, like, display something. Now, uh, now, a problem I would certainly see with this is since you have to plug in each individual light, I don't know if there's any like adapter they sell or that even exists uh, that you would combine them all into and put it in. But either way, if you wanted to spell out and buy more than one letter, it is going to certainly cost a pretty penny. First of all, you know, to find an outlet to put them all in. Second of all, even if you want to get all the letters, it's going to cost around sixty something dollars, uh, which is kind of insane. Uh, that's that's a lot of money per letter. Uh, you know, I think just Genuinely, I don't know what exactly it costs. Again, this is just a pure off-the-brain estimate. Maybe it could probably be done for around $30. I mean, the LEDs maybe are a few. The bricks, I know, altogether probably at most go for around like $13, uh, which is all great. Like, you know, obviously that's expensive material. Um, but $60 is certainly a lot of money. And even if you use my discount code, which is around 10% off, uh, it's going to cost a lot. Now you also do get the stickers, which I prematurely placed on my fridge. They look absolutely great. I have a little mini fridge. It has Lego stickers. Uh, so I just put a bunch of them on there. It's really fun. I'll show you some B-roll of that. But yeah, so it's just more of an interesting product. I'm not 100% sure exactly what to say because it's a very straightforward thing. It's a glowing up letter. Uh, in person, it certainly looks better, at least uh, from when it's how it's showing up on my current camera. Uh, it looks really cool. Like I would put this in the back of the video if it didn't have such a short cord. Uh, which is certainly something that we could work on and you know I did plug it in and you know I did turn off the lights because I thought you know it would better showcase how glowing it is. The LEDs are very nice. You can, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, probably not, but I'll show a, a b-roll of that too. Uh, you can hook this up to something on a wall if you have base plates. I know a lot of people like to hook up base plates onto their walls and you know build on the wall. Uh, I know my school had that. Uh, but the, like you could Basically, like push this on the wall and it'll stay there. Again, the problem I see being the cord. That's no problem of their own. It's just, you know, it's a little bit interfering. Uh, and, you know, how are you going to... That, that, that's the really only impractical thing I see about this. Now, in terms of other stuff, it just genuinely looks like a fun product. I'm looking on the inside a little bit. The coils look very fancy. The LEDs are good looking. Now, if I was... I, I want to be 100% honest with you guys. So, if I was handed $60, this would certainly not be the first thing I would buy. But if I did have a lot of money on hand, you know, I think it would be cool uh, getting the entire letter set up. Like, if I was able to spell out my whole name, or if I was able to spell out, like, you know, studs in the background. I would totally consider that. I just think, uh, for what it is, it's a bit pricey. Uh, and, you know, even from a close-up, it's, I mean, just, like, if you're, like, 
maybe five feet away, you couldn't really tell that it was Lego to begin with, which kind of defeats the purpose. And light up letters, genuinely speaking, are not that hard to find. Like, if that's something you're interested in, they are out there. Uh, and if you want a specific Lego one, that's great. Obviously, the value here is Lego. I know how much it is to stockpile on Legos. You have to make a serious profit. There's no way, like, you're paying exactly for what the materials are worth. You're paying above that because they put it all together for you. And if you want to take the time and make something custom, I guess you could do that. Um, but yeah, it's just an interesting, interesting product. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And tell me what you guys think of this product down below. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. This is certainly an interesting thing. Uh, so yeah, with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. Mm -hmm.